Hi everyone. Hi yeah. I'm Gary. I'm Ronnie. We are Garon Stitchery. The house of Garon Totten Bags. And future LNS. <laughs> and future LNS, yes. yes. We are uh, almost there. Yes, we are. Um, we are filming on Saturday <laughs> this week because uh, we had a lot of stuff going on last last night with the uh, internet company and stuff. We were there till what, 7, 8 o'clock? 7.30. So yeah. it was a bit late for us to record because we normally record earlier in the day on um, Friday. Three, three yeah. Days. yeah. Yeah. So, um, yeah, three to five, we always turn it off our phones mm -hmm. and the computer and everything. Fridays. Yes. Yeah. Um, if you are new, welcome. Thank you for joining us. Please um, don't forget to to sign in. Sign in as a word. I forgot the word. <laughs> uh, um, subscribe. <laughs> subscribe. Yes. Yes. And uh, we are um, teachers and ourselves. Mm -hmm. And then forgot all the what you say. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, I'm trying to take over, but I can't. Uh, you, you did good. You did good. Um, so, we, uh, as Ronnie was saying, we are a floss tube channel about cross stitch, and we are cross stitch owners. We are cross stitchers ourselves, and we are cross. And we own an online cross stitch shop called garon stitcherycom that you can purchase from. Most of the things we show on the videos, all of the things we show on the videos, are on the website at the moment we record and post the video. Yes. Uh, a lot of things, um, which we have no idea how many, which ones will sell out quickly. Some sell out quick, some sell out slowly. So we have no concept of... Until we, some until we, went sell when we are filming. Yes, some sell while we film. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> so it's, you guys are, um, you guys are pretty used to the, we, we post and list things new that's uh, on Fridays. And some of you go out there early on Friday to see what's out there. So, um... It, it's uh, we still like to do these so, so we can keep everyone up to date with what's going on with the shop. Uh, we are in the process of getting our local LNS shop up and running in Ozark, Alabama, mm -hmm. and the grand opening is April twenty seven. Yes, and we will be doing a special. We will our hours on that day, the twenty seventh, which is a Saturday, will be from nine a.m. to six p.m., and then we'll also be doing special Sunday hours. Uh, we haven't talked about the hours. What hours do you want to do on Sunday? Sunday, you said by appointment. Yeah, but for the for the uh, grand opening weekend, we know a oh, lot of people's going to oh. be in town. Oh Lord! So maybe um, nine to five. May I can be? Yeah. We'll we'll start nine to five on Sunday. We uh, ten. Because it's at um, oh yeah ten. So, day, so I can sleep. Day. Yeah. No, so, you cannot sleep. It's in boys day. So ten ten to five well, special. Let's, that Saturday the twenty eighth. Our nor oh that Sunday the twenty eighth. Our normal Sundays will be by appointment only because yep. we know there's a lot of you traveling. So if you give us a call a few days before that you'll be in the area, we'll open for you. So yeah, and um, because we see a couple of comments, people is um, reserve hotel and the Hampton Hotel. Mm -hmm. If you guys are here Friday night, let us know because we have a couple of people. And uh, we are thinking going out for dinner. And two restaurants I recommend, mm -hmm. very recommend in town, is a Mexican restaurant. Is um, I forgot the name. Oh my gosh, I just had it on my tongue. Um, Rodeo. Rodeo. <laughs> yes. Is delicious. Yeah. Is very clean. The staff is very nice. Yes, lots of food. And talking to the manager the last time, last week, we are there and we tell him that we are opening a, um, a store. And then say, um, when my friends come over to our shop, we will recommend the restaurant because it really is good food. And the second is mom, is, mom and no, dad shop. Yeah, it's uh, called the Flippios. It's a Italian it's shop. Yeah, but it's mom, the, name mom of the, and dad. the name of the shop. Yes, but mom and dad shop. Yeah. Restaurant. Yeah, it's it's a local <laughs> restaurant, the Flippios. And uh it does home style pizzas and lasagna and everything homemade. Yeah. Yes. Very, Italian very, food, very good. Very good. Yes. Yes. Very fun. Um now thanks cues. Mm -hmm. We thank uh, Maria from West Palm Beach for the lovely car. 
sorry thank you Maria. thank you so much maria and our dear friends uh, peggy and um, tammy mm -hmm. she sent us a delicious chocolate box ronnie's showing it this way because most of the chocolates inside have been uh digested yeah yeah because he left it next to the computer while i was loading things like ooh, one more ooh, oh one more, ooh, the one moment more. i got it open and i'm i'm uh, open it and saying thank you and and uh, Peggy says she need she thinking we need some sugar. I say yes. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Tammy says um, all right. Anyway, yeah. And then thank also, you so very much. And shout out. We have two fellow Flossubers that shout us. Actually, three. Um, we have first one is P D Stitcher. She sh tagged us and shouted us out. And uh, the next one is Stitching Scotty. She tagged us and shouted us out. And the third is. Stitching past my bedtime, Karen and Kathy. Yes. Um, I saw their video pop up, but for some reason, the tag didn't work. I don't know what. I don't know. It was weird. I see it. The video. Yeah, yeah I saw the video because yeah. uh, it came up as my um, subscribed videos, but it wasn't tagged. It was weird. But um, I saw it tagged, but it was uh, YouTube does its own thing. Who knows? Yeah. The technology and me, we're, we don't always get along Thank together. Thank you guys for Thank all you. these short outs. Yes. The you mentioned this one? Uh huh. Yeah. PD okay. Stitcher. Yeah. Okay. And then we want to go into shop announcements, or you want to do use the whip? Okay. Guys, I'm sorry. I'm not quitting myself. I just don't have time for a stitch, and uh, like I always say, I have to be relaxed for a stitch. And this week is being crazy. Yeah. I'm uh, start pulling threads on sunday around one till yesterday 11 when i'm leaving to the shop and just pick it out and get it put it prices and i'm going to put a picket picket no hooks and mm -hmm. hanging the threads and yeah. Yeah, i think yeah because we have to take it out of our one operating system and put it in our shop operating system so it's a lot of double work but uh, we're enjoying it, and we know in the future it's going to be easier because we'll just split the stuff and do yeah. it. Yeah, you things. can see my my online store is a mess mm -hmm. because there's boxes everywhere. Yeah. It's crazy. Mm -hmm. yeah, so, and I cannot handle uh, this organization. <laughs> yeah, so, so what we've been doing is pulling things that we feel would sell more in a physical walk-in store. Mm -hmm. Then sometimes, you know, things get a little lost on a website. So we're trying to pick the goodies and um, still um, yeah. separate them back and forth. So. Yeah, like uh, we go pull it out, complete the needle minder because needle minders is like not sell in a store and, and online. And we go put it in the store because maybe when people see it, it's, it's, much, it's more of a visual. More visual. Yeah, yes. Visual. Yeah. yeah, that is a long process, but we're getting there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so. Right. Um, Your whip. My whip. Uh, actually, I have a finish. Ooh. I finished um, Olga stocking on 36 count Ronnie. Patriot Brew. Uh, hashtag Ronnie Saka to me, Sal. I did. I, w I wanted to make sure I got it done. And um, it's been a, it was a total joy to do once I got past the, uh, the monsters, pumpkins, which are my other kryptonite other than snowflakes. You just need a little push up, huh? Yeah, <laughs> actually, the sow really helped me, or I would have not finished if, because I would have stopped here and probably would never pick this up again. But the sow helped me push me up because I knew this stuff would go easy. That's why I did that last. So I I did the hard part first. Yes. So now I need to send it out to get it uh, fully finished. Uh, I'm going to send it to uh, my finishing touch. I saw she's made one of these stockings already before, and it turned out very pretty. So I'll have it ready for the shop. The show in the shop as a model. Yeah. Um, as um, one day our girls in the Facebook and Zoom, mm -hmm. she is doing one gorgeous full coverage. Yeah. I forgot her name. Uh, Terry. Terry. Yeah. Terry, yes. It's, it's beautiful. I'm, um, if you have pictures and you're in the group, please post pictures. <laughs> of your stocking, yes. Of your stocking, mm -hmm. yes. Yeah. 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 So, um, and this is on 36 count, and this is on a fat quarter of 36 count. Uh, it's R and R. 
which is not overly dyed. So I was able to use, I used the call for threads, but I did two over two, two threads over two. So I got complete, I'll show you up close. I got complete full coverage, especially on those gigantic monster pumpkins. And um, yeah, normally 36 count, I, I don't do two threads, but on this fabric, it was, I was able to do it. And then also um, on Easter Sunday, I um, somehow or the other, I had a weak moment at Nashville as I was walking out of the Glendon Place booth. Um, I just happened to bump into Sarah, so, um, Memphis, Memphis E. Sarah, and I'd already been into uh, Fiber, um, Forbidden Fiber Co.'s room talking to Leanne, and um, somehow or the other, I signed up for a sale. I don't know how it happened. I vaguely remember a lot of things, but uh, we are starting um, this lovely pattern, um, Eggs All Around by Glendon Place. So they, they will probably get a lot more done than I will. I will definitely start it tomorrow. Not sure how much I'll get done. Um, I'm, it's, it's called for uh, a, a 28 count because uh, it's got a lot of beads. It's got a lot of Krynic and a lot of DMC. There's, there's 45 DMC colors. There's 11 Mill Hill colors. And oh my God, there's nine Krynics. So this, this thing is going to bling up. So I picked uh, a 28 count um, Zweigart called Green Sapphire. He's eating chocolate already. <laughs> Trying to be quiet. <laughs> Sorry. So I picked a very simple uh, green so that um, it's not an over dyed, but it's, uh, it's a 28 count. So it'll be easy for the beads. And I think it was pretty close to the photo. How beautiful. I think it looks really close. So it's a little, little green, of course, but you had to go with green because it was there. And so um, I will be getting more of these in the shop. Uh, if you're interested um, to joining, let me know so I can order enough. And that's uh, called Eggs Eggs All Around. Oh, wow. And it's got a bead, a bead pack. Oh, hold on. I think I got it. And, oh. Sorry about the plastic, but it comes, it has a, a Krynic pack. Look at all the beautiful Krynics. Dinky dies. It comes with the dinky dies. There's a dinky die pack. And then the bead pack is with the embellishment pack. Look at all the pretty beads. So she gives you just enough beads. So she kits it up um, with just, it's got the Krynik, the bead pack, and uh, the floss is an embellishment pack. And then the chart is separate. So, and then of course I had to put it in a cool little Easter bag. I don't know which month, which year this one was. Was this last year or the year before? I don't know. Mm, I don't know. I know. No, ask me one I have for breakfast yesterday. But <laughs> I, I, I may, I may or may not have an amazing collection of personal Garron bags myself, because uh, I get the uh, family discount. <laughs> <laughs> I have to work hard for it. <laughs> Mm -hmm. All right. Um, so that is all the stitching I've done. Really, truly, not a lot. Now they I'm putting the. I'm sorry. I'm putting the box out. The box. Look in this beautiful box. It's like it's like. I'm, I'm going. You, I'm, when I'm eating, eating all these chocolates, I'm going to use it in the shop for put a charge or something because the box is beautiful. Oh, that's cute. I like that. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you guys. Or those little some little gadgety things. Yeah. Cool. I'm, I love it. Okay. I love it. All right. So. Um, we normally we do uh we would show the designer focus designers for next month because this is our last video before that. but oh, we have so much going on my God. and she has a lot of lovely charts the next month's designer focus is the scarlet house so we will be focusing on the scarlet house next week's video with uh the letter o so we're doing a shorter video today because um we're a bit scatterbrained. <laughs> oh only... my God, I am forgot. Yeah, I know. I was thinking about it when I was doing my hair. I'm like, oh, oh my God, this garden house. But, we can um, skip Nora and do the 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 uh, design and focus. I know. But you guys, are, oh, it'll be Nora. And, <laughs> and <laughs> I'm looking there in the box and I see Nora. Yeah. All right. All right. So first we're going to do a little bit of what's new in the shop. Uh, very little because uh, we had a lot of stuff come in for Nashville. So a lot of that stuff took precedent. So we have just a few things. Last few things that came in from for Nashville and some other goodies that we picked up all over there. So first, let's show 
the fabric the fabric this is oh man <laughs> okay neutral bending 32 count lining linen sorry and and it's uh 40 inches long it's uh what is it it's um six, six by 40 six inches from end to end and the edges are finished and it's 40 inches so it's a 32 count we did pick that up at nashville so all of the pieces are already cut to six inches by 40 inches long and i think it's perfect to do like some of those um Prairie School or Santa's or any other kind of um maybe some of the, maybe even um like hands-on design Kathy Haberman's got a lot of Halloween little ones that you could do together instead of finishing them individually um I thought of some really cool ones um she's got some that are done on um they're like spooky little jars or something like that I can't remember the series I'll, if I remember I'll pop the name down here of that series it's a great little series because there's three charts in each little packet. I was laughing when Gary got it, the roll of this uh, this one because I, what's his name? I, he's in our group. Um, he was working for Poppies. Yeah, I think so. Anyway, he had this one in his hand and Gary said, did you go buy that? And he said, no, I just look and he said, Gary said, I want it. <laughs> but I asked, I did ask. I said, you know, he's, no, no, here, take yeah. it. So he yeah. handed it. So I, it was, I, I was not that guy. <laughs> I knew you were gonna do that. <laughs> All, All right. right. Um, now, what is new in this shop? Yep. Yeah, so this is some some of the items from Nashville that finally came in from Australia and Italy. So we'll show um, we'll show the chart, and this is from Moho Stitches. And this is uh, a Stitch for All Seasons series. This is summer. And there's the chart. And we, we, we're gonna leave the, the thread pack in the, um, in the plastic. So um, this is the, the, in the, the thread pack that would go, that you would get additional. Yeah, that's good. Yep, there you go. So there's the thread pack that's used for that chart. And then we have um, a Stitch for All Seasons. And these are still listed under the Nashville tab in the website. We haven't moved those over yet to the designer tabs. So this is the spring one. And then here are the spring colors. A thread pack for that chart. Oh, it's working out pretty good. And then we have fall, autumn fall, which is interesting because they give you the option of either stitching fall or autumn. So if you're if you're a little bit behind on stitching, you might want to do the shorter stitching of fall to get it done quicker. And if you have more time, you can always stitch autumn. Or if you have a lot of time, you can stitch both. <laughs> and then there's the thread pack for the autumn fall. A stitch for seasons, all seasons. And then the last but not least is winter. And there is the chart. And here is the thread pack. I love this. Um, color right there the ink it's kind of like a bluey look at that. it's gonna be a pretty cool color there's that and then uh we got more of these back in stock this is from the um the the blue flower she she worked with um cottage garden threads and did a pattern that called for some of their threads and we have the thread pack of just the cottage garden threads that she used this is for the hedgehog and hyacinth pattern by the blue flower so we got more of these in there goes the chocolate. <laughs> and then as there was many designers, there's a few designers, I believe. I can't remember how many that did um, a pattern for the Hearts for Pam um, stitch group or something like that. I vaguely, I, I just went blank. Um, but uh, Cottage Garden uh, Threads did create a thread pack that would be used for those charts. And these are all the threads that's in this uh, packet here. And I do know the blue flower did one, it's called Hearts for Pam. And it had the heart with the animals in it, the birds and, and bats and stuff, I think. And then here's the thread. So these are all the threads that's in this pack. It's a cute little box. And then they we have it all listed there that way. 
still waiting on for some other cottage, uh, other Moho Stitches designs that were not in the box. We have two more boxes coming from Australia. So if you're waiting for Zelda's Heart or Kate's Cushion, those patterns were, are on their way. <laughs> yes. International shipping and um, whatever. Okay, so the next one from uh, Nikki's Creations was a market kit. Ryan's going to show you a little kit. Ooh, there's a little charm in there, too. So this oh, is called it. Liberty Kitty. Oh, it's got a, look, it's got a little charm right there. Look. Yeah, I can because it's, it's uh, there's a lots of little goodies in there. It's all the threads and the finishing fabric. Oh, my gosh. Okay. It's a cute little kit. This is a charm. Yeah. It's like patriotic. Oh, my goodness. A <laughs> little bitty kitty. A little bitty kitty, yeah, patriotic, uh -huh. and that goes up here w where the ribbon is, and then no, it's not threads here. No, okay, no threads, just finishing, just fabric, finishing this fabric, is a finishing thing. Yeah, there's the finishing fabric and the stitching fabric, and then the ribbon yeah. and everything like that. No so, thread. So, Sorry. um, okay, I wasn't when when it's all in the bunch there, it's hard to tell what's. Sorry, I have to put it in the bag because yeah. I don't want to lose. All right. So this, this little charm. I know you guys don't like the sounds of the plastic, but I don't want. This is so little. I don't want to lose nothing of this. All right. So while he's doing that, um, I we did say we didn't. Ronnie did make a post that there was no video last night, but uh, Princess Leah uh, ended up making her own little <laughs> preview video. And those of you that watched it enjoyed it. I'm. I'm glad I had those, those are photos that were on the camera and, um, she did really good. I think she did. She said, uh, it was a paw review, but uh, we, we go with the letter N. So here are the designers that start with the letter N in our shop. And these are the charts we currently have. So the first designer of course is Nora Corbett, I think. Yes, it's that way. I know, but I think Ronnie put him in opposite order because I know the others Nikki and I comes before you know. It's no matter. Okay. It's in. All right. So we had all the in designers. The first one is uh, Donna from the Christmas uh, Eve Carrier series. Next one is Dancer. All right. And then we have Blitzen. Every time I see these, I keep remembering, oh, I need to start pick, start, do some more. I've only finished three of them. This is Vixen. And this is Cupid. I know I did this one. Oh, yeah, I like, I like that one. This is Cupid. And, of course, Prancer. And Comet. Yeah, Mill Hill has been having a, Witchell has been having a time to get the Mill Hill packets of beads, so we have been trying to get them as best we can. This is uh, Christmas Eve Courier's Santa Sleigh. One of the ladies in our Facebook group is currently stitching this. She posted her update. Oh my God. I, every time they post their updates, I want to stitch that. And this is Yellow Bird from her bird series. And then here is Blue. Blue Monarch Flycatcher. I guess it eats flies. Look at that. Pretty little bird. These are kind of different for Nora, but they're older patterns. And then, of course, we have some great witches. This is Luna. All right. Then we have Gigi. And we have Anna. Oh, I love that apple. And then there's Emmy. Oh, he's, he's holding him up for me. Yeah, that's kind of cool. And then here we got Cleo. See, I like Cleo and the Emmy. Hold the Emmy back up. For me, I think these are great. They look like they're doing some kind of witch duel, like East versus West. I think they should be stitched together. And then we got Mari. Oh, I love that. I love the inside of her, her cape there. And now we have, now we're out of the witches, we're into Willow Queen. Here's the Willow Queen. 
and this is Nora's are smaller than Mirabilia's. So if you wanted to do one and you didn't want to do it, one of those gigantic ladies, and here is her sister, the Rain Queen. Yeah, they're um what about eight by twelve? Looks like eight almost eight almost almost eight by twelve finished. And this is the berry collector. I finished her. She will be her finished pattern will be stitched, will be shown at the shop. And then we got Electra. Oh my god, look at her. Oh my god, look at her, Electra. Oh, there she is. Oh, she's gorgeous. She just glows. That orange just glows. And Gwen is my favorite, favorite. But I struggle because I want to change her skin to green. I may not and just stitch her as is. Because I don't want my greens to compete. And here is Minerva. Raven. Oh yeah, I did Raven. Raven's behind us with those bats. And then we have Zinnia. Zinnia is the one that almost killed me because I, the, the witches, I do one over one skin and that leg, it just went on forever when you're doing it one over one. And here is Eva. She's behind us. I think she's behind. No, she's not. She's on the other wall. There's Eva. And that's Nora's older packaging ones. And now we have the Nora's that are in, in her newer packaging. Yeah, I, I think I may like a little bit of the Nora's. Uh, this is, well, let me do it this way. It might be easier. This is Lady Cat. Wow, look at that. Pretty. That's Lady Cat. Then we have Lady Sk Skeen. Okay, Lady Skeen. Right. Then we have Winter Owl. I've seen a couple people finish this guy. He is so cool. Uh oh. Oh, yeah, I didn't take the plastic off these. I'm going to, I'll try and show it without the glare. This is Mum Flower Girl. Oh, there it is. Is she not pretty? I'm going to remove it. Then. No, yes. I forgot to take it out. This is um, Persimmon Bridesmaid. Oh, my God. Primrose. Oh, sorry. Primrose. Bridesmaid. Thank you. Primrose Bridesmaid. Right. Okay, and now we have Pussy Willer, Mother of the Bride. Oh, she's so cool. She's not supposed to be wearing white. And then we have Calla Lily Bride. This is the bride. Oh, very pretty. Oh, here we go. Now we're back to my ladies. This is Claire. And they're not that big. These are these are like five by eight when they're finished. And then here's her sister, El El uh, Evanora. 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 Okay, and this is Witching Hour. I used I used the owl here and the stack of books in my mashup piece that I did, Witching Hour. And then here we go, Masquerade, Mischief. That's a cool one. And then here is Spellbound, which is what uh, also what I used in my mashup piece that I did. Spellbound. I still gotta beat her. There we got Salt Sultanas. Sultanas Rose. Sultanas Rose. Oh, these are pretty girls. And then we have the great have great cabbage leaved rose. You can tell when you, these are all in a series, they look pretty cool all together. This is um, Melody, Melody Rose. Melody, Melody Rose. Mm -hmm. Okay, now we got some of her little um, greenhouses. This is the Crystal Trellis. Crystal Trellis. And then we have Winter Topiary. Mm -hmm. And then we have 
conservatory. These are all in those pretty greens and aquas. Conservatory. Winter Folly. Okay. Ooh, look at this one. This is called Sunrise Greenhouse. Oh my god, that's really pretty. That one looks like it glows. I love that arch. This one I love too because it's different. It's, <coughs> sorry, Sleeping Snow Garden. Is that, that's so yeah. pretty. I love when people do in real life the arches and yeah. with plants. Mm -hmm. All the she's in my stash to do. This is June Bug. Look at her. I love her. She is so cool. She just needs a face. Oh, she's got a face. I didn't see it there for a minute. And then we have Luna Moth. Moth. Luna Moth. 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 Speaking. And then we have Miss Spotted Beetle. She's like being swooped off her feet. <laughs> oh, look at this one. Oh my God, this one's pretty. This is a uh, praying mantis. Oh wow, super cool. And this is Orange Princess. And then we have Angelique Tulip. I just have a name there, Angelique Tulip. Looks like a stargazer to me. Then we have Paper Magnolia. Then we have Ruffle Fern. Primrose. No, Ruffle Fern. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm reading the other name. Sorry, guys. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, on the back, show it. On Ruffle the, Fern. Yeah. yeah. On the back, you she know. shows the series of groupings. Yeah. yeah. I, I get confused. <laughs> yeah. This is a Flower Charmer. Oh, yeah. There we go. She's kind of hard to see. Flower Charmer. Oops, I pulled two of them. I pulled them this week, so uh, that's on me. And then we have Fiddle, fo fiddle far Fern. Oh, I know what that little fern is. It's like a little curled up fern. Okay. And then she's like a little butterfly fairy or something. All right, and this is Posy. So we've, we've, Nora's changed up what she's doing. Here's Posy. And then we have Beautiful. <coughs> Beautiful. And then we have Joy Garden. That is gorgeous. Joy Garden. Look at that. There you go. Ooh, I like this one. This is called Blossom Urn. Oh, wow. That one is super cool. Look at that. All those colors in there. That's very pretty. Blossom Urn. And then we have cool butterflies in the blue. Beautiful blue bride. I, I saw, I think I saw Peggy post her finish on that one or someone did. I remember seeing it. Peggy? I think so, yeah. And then here is Aries. You stitched this one for, or your, for your niece, right? Aries. <laughs> forgot. <coughs> yeah. All right. Here's Taurus. These are from the Zodiac series. This is Taurus. I like Cancer. I'm not a Cancer, but I think Cancer looks pretty cool. And here is Leo. I know you stitched this one. It's mm -hmm. in the room. For myself. Mm -hmm. This is Leo. I'm going to be in the shop. Under glass. <laughs> What do you mean under class? With security guard. <laughs> it's, it's your first mirror. First Nora. Yeah, I know. Libra. She looks like Princess Leah with the, that hair. <laughs> oh my God, look at Sagittarius. Oh, I like this one too. Sagittarius. And then we have Capricorn. I love all her. All these ladies are so cool. Yeah. Just a little bit. This is Capricorn. 
And then we have Pisces. Look at those blues. Pisces. And now we got some of the Mushroom Girls. This is Miss Yellow Mushroom. There she is. Oh, my gosh, she's so cute. And then we got Miss Forest Mushroom. Okay, and then this is my favorite one, Miss Pink Mushroom. And now we have the two. I think we just recently showed these, but they're in the Nora collection. This is North Atlantic Mermaid. Yeah, this is, this is her, her new ones that just came out. And we have the bead packs for these as well. And this is the, her sister, South Atlantic Mermaid. And I love the faces that they did on these two this time. They're very cool. So that is the Nora. Oh, no, well, we have more. Letters. But wait, there's more. These are the um, older ones, and they are still available. Um, if you don't see your letter, uh, we can still get the other letters. So in the letters, she has in two different ways. She's got them with fairies or they're with mermaids. So we have some of both. So here's the letter. I like the fairies. Yeah, I like the fairies. Because I'm stitching the R. Mm -hmm. The Lori gave it to me, and I'm, I was chatting with Lori the other day, and I said, I can't wait to finish it. Then. I cannot even keep going. Yeah, you'll get there. One but, day. Yeah. This is the letter G, uh, and this would be the fairy, the letter G fairy. And then here's the letter G mermaid. So there's the letter G mermaid. This one back. Okay, and then we have the letter J. Now this next group, I'll show you why I got them. So here's the letter J from Nora in the fairy. And here is, oops, what was that one? Oh, the letter. Mermaid. Oh, here's the letter J, mermaid. But let's, let's keep the, J, the that one out for a little bit. And then here's the letter O from the fairies. And then we have the letter Y. And what what we saw was somebody had posted, there's a couple of people who have posted in the years past, they put these three letters together and made joy and changed the colors to Christmassy colors, reds and greens. And they yeah. looked super cute. And I, I want to stitch this as a one piece joy. So it's kind of cool that you can take the Nora letters and spell, make a word, make, a word, make, make your baby's name. It'd be a nice long piece and pretty cool though. Yes. Like Gary, but I don't know about Ronald. Ronald would be like, oh my God, stitching those fairies forever. <laughs> you put all my name together, it's no. It almost got all the fairies in one room <laughs> together. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So next we have the real name. The baptized name. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah, that's long. Let me put it in this way. Right. Okay. So now we have the next group of charts is from the designer Nimue. And I'm going to... Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm put it all that way. Okay, cool. This is uh, one, two, three Christmas. I've stitched him, so his the model will be in the shop. It's still... All, my Christmas stuff's still hanging up in the dining room. We need to take it Everywhere. down. Everywhere. We didn't take it down because we know we're going to take it over to the shop. So yeah. why yeah, why box everywhere. why box it up when we're still figuring out what's going on? So this is uh, the Kingfisher. It's called it's a little fairy and a little bird. So it's the Kingfisher. I love this one. That is this one, one of my favorite. This one? Yes. Yeah, I like this one. This is um, Fox and Fox the Red. I would love to stitch that. Fox the Red. These are all done with DMC. Fox the Red. Look at that. Oh, my gosh. In the camera, when I'm looking at it this way, he's like, feels 3D. Really pops there. Oh, my gosh. Super cool. I like that one. All right. And then we have uh, four hats. You guys kind of figure out why I got this one. I may be the only one who wanted it. <laughs> I love it. And now we have Halloween. Look at those little jack-o'-lanterns. They are like, 
I guess they're watching the baby grow, or I don't know what they're doing, but it's kind of funny. And then all these next group is a, they're eight musicians. And so I've done the crocodile, but this is, um, I'll show you the name. I'm not going to butcher it, but I'll show you the name there. There's that name. That's how it's listed on the website. And see, there's eight in the collection. So you, you would stitch them all in groupings. So there's that one. And then we have the next one here. Isn't he cool? There's the name of that one. I'm just, I'm just trying to hold it up long enough so you can pause it if you wanted to. But you can always go on the website and look under Nimoy and all these will pop up under Nimoy. Hmm. So they're all fictitious um, characters that they've turned into musicians from all over Europe. Okay. There we go. And then we have this next one. He's got like this shroud on. Isn't that cool? There we go. Okay. And then this one right here. He must be the Italian, uh, French one, I think. I don't know. And there's that one. So we can still get all the remaining ones, the, the crocodile one, and, and that that was that from that series. So now the next one here is um, La, La, Menage, La Menagerie de Alice. So it's related to Alice in Wonderland. So you've got the Queen of Hearts, the Queen of Diamonds, you get the Chester Cat, you get the rabbit on there. This is a very fun piece. And here is my favorite guy. I don't know. I want to start him like Ronnie wants to start the fox. This is called Robin's Jig. Isn't he the cutest little guy? It's like every time I get fabric in, I'm like, ooh, that's the fabric for him. Ooh, that's the fabric for him. He just needs a simple fabric because he's all those DMC colors. That's Robin's Jig. <clears throat> mm, sorry. And the next one is, is Pomade de Cider Apple. I... I want to stitch these guys. I originally started them a long, long time ago on 25 count over one. And they were so small and so detailed. It looked like um, nasty. So I want to start it over on a real 32 count over two and get the true feel of those pieces. And that was, that was Nimoy. Okay. And now we have a Noteworthy Needle. Yeah, this one we just showed a couple of weeks ago, but it's M. Yeah. And we have to put it out. Yeah. So this I'm is... I'm sorry, N. Yeah, <laughs> so this is Charming Child. Yeah, I know you put it out in yeah. plastic because you guys see it a couple of weeks ago. Yeah. So it's done with uh, two DMC colors, um, DMC 03 and DMC 3052. So to me, that means it's super simple to convert to your, your nursery colors, you know, like pink and green and have the, the all the, the charms. charms for a boy or a girl or you could put both yeah. if you have a boy girl twin <laughs> what was it charming child oh this is charming, charming child. child that's charming child also we had charming couple maybe it's it's gone and then here is uh, no we still have it and i'm thinking i'm putting oh, okay all right so here is this is a um, tooth fairy box. So it comes with the little bamboo box that you snap together and attach your stitching to. So I thought it was a super cute little box that you could put your child's tooth in and then the tooth fairy could put the money in there so that way they're not digging up under a pillow for the, put the money in. Not sure a credit card would fit in there. I think it's too small for a credit card, but it's great for like a $50 bill if you fold it up really small. And then we have two from Needle Made Designs. This is, um, speak the truth in love. I think I have more needle mine designs in here. I remember pulling I them. I think so. I remember the logo. And this is learn what is true in order to do what is right. And they're both done with the same identical colors. We talked about it last week. 
now we have Nikki's Creations. We just showed her little yeah. Liberty Kitty, but you know, we just got that in yesterday. So here are some from the shop. This is Halloween Fantasia? Fantasia? Fantasy? Fantasy? Okay. Look at that. So it's got all the little houses there, little crows and cats and sheep and pumpkins. Cool little piece. Interesting uh, interpretation of Halloween. And then here is House of Halloween. I love these little witches. House of Halloween. And then we have um, Embroidery Halloween. So this is a um, cool little piece, Embroidery Halloween. You get all the little Halloween segments. Great little, kind of a sampler. I think it's kind of like a sampler piece. And now we have Needlework School. Great little Needlework School there. And then we got Token of Friendship. Oh, but your cute little pillows, little bag to make. This Token of Friendship. So there's some little bitty things that's kind of hard to see, but I think that's it. Token of Friendship. And then we have, oh my God, this thing, every time I kept typing it to load it in the system, it would autocorrect to shipping. So then people say, oh, it's, it's labeled wrong, but autocorrect kept changing. It's called sheeping sampler and autocorrect wants to keep changing it. So if you're searching for it and you can't find it, check your autocorrect. It may be changing the word from sheeping to shipping, but it's a very cute sampler. And then we have summer village. <laughs> Summer Village. We had Winter Village. Here's Summer Village. Okay, and then here's a little kit from last year that I was shocked that it was still here. This is called the Daisy Kit. It's, gorgeous. I know it's got it's got um, just the fabric, the little charm, and a little tassel. And I don't know. She's got it heat sealed, so we can't even open it. But I know there's no no threads. There might no. It's it's just a staple. staple. Yeah. So there is a little. A daisy kit, a little sheep with some daisies in the in the little wagon there. That is super cute. And then a little charm and a little tassel. You know you can see? Yeah. Yeah, a little daisy there. Okay. That is Nikki mm -hmm. Creations. All right, and now we are getting ready to go with New York Dreamer. Mm. So we have New York Dreamer. This is Autumn in a Box. It's a cool little piece. So you could finish it as a drum. It'd be a very big drum, I think. And then we have coffee or wine today. Coffee or wine today. And then we have uh, dirty dishes. The dishes are looking at me dirty again. I love her. Sounds like me. Her ideas, you know, her... What's in her head sounds really fun when she puts it out in stitching. And this is home is where the fabric and floss are. Isn't that true? I like that one. That's a perfect little piece for your craft room. And here's hot cocoa and cookies. I did go out and I bought the metal things. I think at Hobby Lobby, they had them at Hobby Lobby at one time uh, to finish this because you put them on with magnets. I've yet to stitch this pattern. <laughs> This is uh, hot cocoa and cookies. And then we have laundry again, the never ending cycle. That is so true. And see, here's the other piece. Life begins with coffee. Always have great plans. So we just have those hanging up on the wall without anything on them. <laughs> And then here is a um, pin cushion with a cherry on top. It's got little ladybugs and cherries. Look at that. It's kind of hard to see it the way they took the picture, but it's a very pretty piece. I saw that at Nashville when they had it out. I was like, oh my God, it's super cute. And here is pumpkin spice, everything nice. There's that one. And then we have a couple of these um, 
I'm not sure if I have all of them. I know there's at least three of them that I have. This is called Springtime. So it's a great little um, seasonal uh, series. Here's Springtime. And then here is Summertime, very patriotic, red, white, and blue. Okay, and then the others will be later on in the alphabet. And then we have uh, Tea Time. And there's Tea Time. Okay, now I'm going to show the chart for this next one. This is called Winter in a Box, but we do have the full kit. Um, in Ada, what, we have one kit in Ada, one kit in Linen that has the chart and the full uh, box that you would use to finish it on there. So we have two, two of those in the website. So it's called Winter in a Box. Okay, and then here is Winter Time from that other series. And they have Christmas Time, they have Autumn Time, and Hanukkah Time. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And then this is My Mother, My Friend. Is that repeating? No, that's Summer in a Box. I think, yeah, that's repeating. I think it was the first one. No, the first, very, very first. Okay, I see. Yeah. Yeah, so they did, she did Summer in a Box and Winter in a Box. So there's that. Okay. And there, put that right there. Okay, and that was New York Dreamer. So many cool patterns from her. It's, uh, I love her, her take on things. Okay, and now we have, oh, yep. So yeah, this is the other designer. The other designs from Needle Made Designs. Oh. Yeah, her charts Sorry. are different, so it felt like they were different. Uh, this is For the Love of Needle It Too. It's Stewie. It's Stewie? Stewie. For the, for the love of needle, Stewie. Oh, is that the... Okay, that's more the... That's what the piece looks like when it's open. So here's the little um, piece when it's closed. And Ronnie's going to show the other pictures of what it looks like when this all the stuff you stitch and put it together. Yeah. So this is the front view, and then there's the side view and the open view. Oh, a very cute little piece. This picture doesn't do it justice, but oh my god, look at all the little cool stuff in there. Yeah, I like that. Oh, it's a little blurry, but uh, I'm not preparing for that. I didn't even know that was there until just now. Cool. Okay, and then next we have Margaret Campbell. Here's Margaret Campbell. Okay, and then we have um, our K pansy pin, dream pillow. Pin, pin pillow. Pin, pin. Yeah. Yeah. So it's that little piece right there. But that's how she's got it displayed. No, I could look for those. They're two harder ones. Oh, okay. Yeah, we'll get it later. And then we have, what do we have here? We have... Now we have uh, Needlework Press. Okay. When I was pulling these, I had some great flashbacks. <laughs> so here is uh, Hannah's Pomegranate. They just took a little snippet from a sampler and made this cute little pattern. It's from that pattern back there. And thinking, yeah, it's from this one, they took this little corner. Yeah. That's cool. Mm -hmm. And then we have um, a duo of sweet verses. So there's these two patterns are in this. I'll show this one first. There's that one. And then there's this next one. So these are both in there. It's a duo of sweet um, verses. And then we still have more of the 2024 Needlework um, book, of, the 2024 Book of Days. And what this is, is basically it's a calendar that you fill in your stitching plans or what you started when you started it. So at the end of the year, you'll know how many starts you had, how many finishes. So it's kind of a cool um, schedule, schedule your stitching. Okay. And then we have Be a Friend. 
Yeah, and then we have Christmas Duo. Is this two patterns also? I think so. This is a Christmas Duo. It's two samplers with Timeless Charm. So look at that. There's a cool one there. What's those words? Uh, oh, well, the Song of the Angels and then an ABC sampler. Oh, wow. That's very cool. I'll have to show that again. Okay, is it Christmas Duo? Here is Margaret Croft sampler. And then here is Christmas time. I'd forgotten about these. You get the little Tim Holtz um, uh, alarm clock and you just finish it in that. And then we have Anne, Anne Mac Janet. Janet and Mac Janet. Oh, okay. There are over one stitches on the words there, just for those that ask. Okay, and then we got Elsie Curtis. 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 Elsie Curtis. Maybe the name there. Okay. So this one I did finish. This is called Halloween Time. And I have it in my little clock. I, I don't know where I, I, I gotta find out where I put it so I can hang it up and show it out in the shop. So this is Halloween Time. It's not in here, it's somewhere, packed up somewhere. Uh, this is a sampler, oh no, Luce, Lucinda? Lucinda Fraser. Fraser, Lucinda. 1866. Yeah. So it's this sampler right here. Okay, there we go. Then we have seven red samplers. Is there seven in here? I don't know what that means. The name of the chart. Seven oh, okay. Red okay. Alphabet. It's called Seven Red Alphabets. Oh, one. Okay. Am I trying to figure out? Seven red alphabets, so it's each line. So then I guess you could, uh, if you're gonna do monogram, you'd have the different styles of letters to do, but it's a cool piece altogether. This one I think is really cute. Good Tidings of Joy, a Christmas silhouette. It's Santa taking the animals to the Noah's Ark. So there's that picture, but I think this one in the back is a better picture. Look at that. Is that not cool? Okay, then we have Ann Miller, 1818. I'll show it this way. Alphabet sampler. And then, oh my God, this thing was humongous. This is uh, Phoebe Ann V. Vi, v. Y. Look at that. That is a, that's a different piece because it's going vertical instead of horizontal. Very cool. And then we have, what is this? Oh, okay. Um, oh, uh, Mary Ann Alder. The Mary Ann Alder Sampler. Yes. It takes the, up the whole. Mary Ann Alder Sampler. Takes the whole front cover. Look at that. And then we have, this is called, um, paper basket so you would take this shape and make it into with the ribbon make it into that little paper basket i think it's showing right there right there yeah i don't even put it out of the plastic yeah. <clears throat> oh here's a here's another cool red one the lone eagle sampler and this is oh you know chris yeah they changed up their logo stuff this is the lone eagle sampler I like that one. What is the name? Lone. Oh, no. I, I hear you say long. Sorry. Oh, no. I keep trying to say long, but it's lone. This is Ellen Carr. 1843. Yep, Ellen Carr, 1843. And this all we have for Needle Work Press. Okay. It's to the center there, or it's only one? I think this is the last one. Yep, this is the last designer. Okay. A little sh shorter video this week. Um, 
This is a needle bling designs. Okay, and this is called Autumn Delight. And this was designed with the cottage garden threads. And then we have, this is one of her very popular ones. This is Christmas Eve ride. Super cute little Santa there. Then we have Coffee Break. Time, take time to smell the coffee. Espresso, express yourself. So many blends, so little time. Coffee conquers all. Take life one cup at a time. So cool. We change those dots on those coffee cups to green, then it'll work. Or the cups to green. And now we have Come As You Are and and Sit A While. This is the one with the Adirondack cha chairs. Welcome. And now we have Cookies for Santa. All wrapped up in a bow. And then she did her companion piece. This is Country Ride. You could either make it in your pillow or a little drum. I think I like it as a pillow. And this is her charity piece, uh, Courteous and Strong. Yes. This was um, all the money that was sold to this chart. She donated to um, cancer. cancer in name of her brother. Yeah, and she was kind for give us some of these ones for sell it to our St. Jude's charity. A few years ago. A few, yeah, a couple yeah. of years ago. And we really appreciate it. Yeah. And there I'm, um, we ordered some for having in the shop as mm. a regular charge. Yes. It's a regular sale for her charity. Yeah. yeah. And then here is Easter on the farm. Look at that little chick. You see that the cute little chick? Just in time for Easter. You whip that up before Sunday. This is farmhouse welcome, come as you are. So this is her other welcome piece. This is more of a farmhouse. The other one had the Adirondack chair. This is farmhouse welcome. And this one is a semi kit as it comes with uh, some DNC, uh, Rick Rack and the backing fabric. And this is Those done. Are beautiful colors. Yeah, it's done on her fabric, um, Mar Margarita. Mm -hmm. Margarita. Or I call it Gary Green, but it's Margarita. All right. Uh, this is um, this is a series. It's uh, the North Pole Shop series. This is Frosty's Diner. Frosty's Diner. And then we're gonna jump right into trick or treat. Halloween candy. Is that not cool? Look at they all got candy in their mouth. <laughs> Halloween candy. Then uh, happy when stitching. It's always happy hour when I'm stitching. I love that one. Yeah, we get the strawberry That's and the little bobbins cute. in the glass. I like that. I love. I love it. I really. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. And then here we go. Monday. Happy, happy home. It's not how big the house is. It's how many, it's how happy the home is. Is that not cute? That is really, really right. Yeah. I think she's got some really great little charms, little um, pieces that are really fun. This is Hum of the Bees. The hum of the bees is the voice of the garden. So true. Mm -hmm. And this is one that I was originally it was in in um, <clears throat> just cross stitch magazine. I did the Halloween one that was boo. Yeah. I still have to do the love one. Uh, this is love squared. I'm thinking you already did it. Mm -mm, I did boo. Oh, I want to do this one. You finish it on star foam um, squares, squares, little squares, and yeah. you just pin it together. Super easy finish. Squares. Yeah, squares. I don't know what I'm thinking box. <laughs> oh, I thought I said box. No, oh. I did. <laughs> and then here is um, Midnight Ride. This was another one that's been Oops. in the magazine for a while. Oops. That's me. This is Midnight Ride. Okay. okay yeah. And that's all my list to stitch one day. 
And then here's another one in the North Pole Shop series. This is Miss Claus Bake Shop. She shows them finished as little pillows, but I think they would be also cute if you finished them all all together in little squares. Because there's only five of them. So here is um, uh, the North Pole Coffee. North Pole Coffee. All right, and then here we have, oh, this is beach time. So there's another one where she did the little drum and the little, or the little pillow. So it's called beach time. On beach time. I'm gonna say it. <laughs> you always, you always eat in the words. I know, I edit words. I don't know why, my, my brain just does it all the time. This is Rudolph Feed Company. This is number four in the series. Look, is he cute? And you're not eating the middle words, you're eating the first word. I know. <laughs> and then here's number five of five, Santa's bed and breakfast. Yeah. I mean, it could even be cute. You could even make them as little cards. Would that be cute to send them as little Christmas cards? And then here is snowball fight. You are never too old for a snowball fight. That's a fun one. I like this one too. This is ooh, this is one of her older ones because it's really hard, the cardboard. Uh, this is Spooky Cauldron. Look at that, there's a little skull there in this cauldron. Spooky Cauldron. Yeah, looking for the, yeah. Hmm. And, and it's hard cardboard, so it's, it's an old one. Uh, this is uh, Stitching Time. This was one that she, another one that they did with the cottage garden thread. No, this was um, with a silk thread pack. Um, Twinway, Twinway silk pack that they did. This one with there's a cluck when they all yeah. when they all did the tea time. Yeah, I just read it's. I read it as like really tiny right there, mm -hmm. but I, mm -hmm. I read it. There's the tea time one. Okay. This is last year. Yeah, last year. Last year um, market. I think so, yeah. And this is us. This is us, our life, our story, our home. Is that not cool? This is really cool because you could change it to your home colors, your your wedding colors or whatever colors you like. And then, oh, look at this toy land. The little doll and a little train. So here's Toyland. Okay, and then we have another one. She did a couple of these in a little series where there's a pillow or a drum finish. This is Turkey Trot. So it gave you the option of doing multiples. And then here's the next one. Will you be mine? Little Valentine piece. And then here is another old one. This is my super, super favorite one, which is Tutu. Mm -hmm. I love this one. Yeah, I'll mm -hmm. be doing that one one day. It's just, you just stitch the feet. I know, but it's so cute. Yeah, and then you get some little tool to make a little pillow, a little tutu on it. And that is all that we have from the letter N designers this week. Uh, again, um, thank you guys for for hanging out with us for a little bit. This is a shorter video this time. We promise, well, I'm not sure we're gonna promise another longer video next week because we we are not doing Zoom this month until uh, until After we- After the grand, grand opening. opening. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we go doing the grand opening on the 27. And then probably one week after we go doing the uh, cutting river with this, with the mayor. Uh, we are working on that because I'm contact there and they say they cannot do it by the 27 and they are full and I say, okay, I'm not going to change my 27. Yeah. I'm going to be with my 27. Yeah. Even and tell Gary and say, let me tell you something. If I die before the 27, you do the grand opening. Because the show had to continue. <laughs> yeah, the show will continue. Yeah. And, and the, no, I was gonna say the mayor only. And he say, wait. And he say, if I'm dying this, and that day, they say no escape, go outside. And die. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, sorry. The right. mayor say so, so the mayor will only do it on a weekday, Tuesday or Thursday. So we wanted to make sure it yeah. was a better but they grand opening it. for you guys they on the weekend. They don't to the 27th, yeah. before the 27th. Right. They are busy. And, yeah. Yeah. So we'll do the, the official ribbon cutting, the the city ribbon cutting, because the real official ribbon cutting is with it's us, with you guys on the 27th. Yes. We go trying that day, they do a video and then we show it the weekend after. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to try for those of you in uh, Facebook, I will go try to uh, do a live video yeah. for the grand opening. Yeah. A little. Yeah. And, uh, it, and if we're not able to do it, we'll at least have the camera set up at the register when we open the door so you can see people coming, see you guys coming in. We'll yeah. try to do a little little pan, but you know our main focus is going to be taking care of of those of you that show up. So we mm. sometimes we will be living in the moment and we'll forget about documentation of for for we yeah, say it all it happen in a market, happen everywhere. Yeah, yeah. yeah like at the retreat, and we the wanna, retreat that was yeah. so busy. I, well, we we want to live I in the market. I take pictures, but yeah. yeah, we live in the moment. Yeah, and um, so we will try the, our best to document. For prosperity. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. All right. I'm thinking that was it. Yep. And um, there were the... a few questions. Okay. Uh, people are asking, are we going to continue the online shop? Yes, we will continue the online shop and we will have a physical store. So we will have two ways of yeah. shopping with Gauron Century. We will do our best for keeping our shipping the same way. Mm -hmm. Um, maybe, maybe, you know, depends how we are busy and, and things. Uh, probably the first month we can ship in, if you buy today, afternoon, we can ship in the next morning. Yeah. And, you know, we got, we will try our best mm -hmm. to honor, like I always say, and honor, oh, sorry, we honor your money. Yeah. Because... Is the right thing for us is ship it the faster we can. Yeah. We never do one day after, but in or week this, after. It, yeah, never, never. Yeah, yeah. In this situation, and um, one thing I want to say, um, we what we sell or what we invoice is because we had the product ready for you, mm -hmm. and I'm asking again to everybody who do a pre-order or in the clubs, be kind. Please do not cancel my uh, your subscription after the invoice go out because it's not right. I'm working my I'm working hard and have your bags and my point your bags ready for the 28th and as people call the 28th or send an email the 28th, no one no more be in the club. Please be kind because you are not respecting my work. It's same from the fabrics. I'm cutting the fabrics and surgery the fabrics and fold it and it's ready for you. Invoice go out. Mm -hmm. yeah. And be kind is simple. Mm -hmm. Let me know before the invoice go out. Yeah. You have one month to decide you don't want to be in the clubs. And as we're talking about clubs, yes. um, and thank you everybody this month. Everybody pay fast. <laughs> yeah, everyone. Did great. Yes, thank so, you. So there's been um, we're coming up on the year of Fox and Rabbit. So the next, the, so if you were you started with Fox and Rabbit Fabric of the Month Club in May of last year, um, your 12 months would be April 28th of this year. Mm -hmm. um, but we run our fo our Fox and Rabbit Club. What well, well, we said that. The way we set it up initially was because we weren't sure how international shipping was going to work and um, how well it was going to be received with, with everything. We were just kind of nervous. It was a new adventure for us. So we are running our Fox and Rabbit Fabric of the Month Club and our fabrics, uh, no, Fox and Rabbit Fabric of the Month Club like we do our Bag of the Month Club. Once you sign up, you're signed up. You don't need to re-sign up every year. You're in it for as long as you want to be in it. We just ask that you do a minimum of 12 months because we have prepaid all the fabric for those 12 months in anticipation of service for you. So that yes. way we always try to have, we always have our fabric in 
months before. So we are the club. Mm -hmm. We wanted to be the club that when you, the invoices went out, the item was shipped. We didn't want to be the club to take your money and wait too long. Yeah, and weeks thank, or you, to thank you to uh, Fox and Rabbit. Thank you to Gotash Garrett, Card and Threads. Mm -hmm. and, and thank you to uh, Tommy Ranch for uh, Stephanie and Seraphine because they are working with us and they are very punctual mm -hmm. in our products. And we really appreciate you guys. Uh, your work is amazing yeah. and your uh, timeline is beautiful for us mm -hmm. and we are very very grateful yeah yeah because when we when we work <laughs> when we start talk to them we said this is what we want to do and they were all gracious and said yes we can do that yes. so uh they were actually happy i i guess that might not be a normal thing for for them but uh it was very nice to have that positive feedback from them and they're yes. excited with the yeah. fabrics that they make for us that are exclusive for us the ones that colors that are exclusive for us for the club and then other fabrics that are from the, their line. So um, very excited for that. Yeah. So. All right, guys. I'm thinking that is all. Yep. So see you guys next week. Bye. Bye. Love you, John. <laughs>